Well, let's hope they don't. I mean, the Senate and particularly Senate Democrats have a constitutional duty to protect the people of this country, and we hope that they'll step up and fulfill it today. They need to, they, and, and look, let's be really clear. Um, what is on the line here is something that they've all supported in the past, and frankly, they've all supported in the last week. They talk about wanting border security. That's exactly what this bill does. It also has nearly $8 billion for disaster relief for states that have been ravaged by natural disasters disasters. So the fact that Senate Democrats would put that on the line for political purposes, uh, that's a sad, sad moment. I think it's a sad day in America when the Mexican government is doing more to protect our borders and stop the illegal flow of drugs, human trafficking, and terrorists across our border than Senate Democrats are willing to do. Sorry. I guess the question is, if nothing really is going to change here in Washington, the, the president in the White House, Republicans controlling the Senate, Demo Democrats soon to control the House. Could this go on for months, potentially? Again, let's hope that that doesn't have to happen. Let's see what Senate Democrats are willing to do and if they're actually willing to do their jobs. The American people elected them to come up here and actually do something, not just to be obstructionist and go against the president. The American people elected the president and they elected these members and they want them to work together and they want them to make government function. So they have to be willing to show up and do their jobs and we hope they'll do that today. Mattis, Vladimir Putin sheared the president's decision to leave Syria and James Mattis said he would be leaving the administration. What message does that send that Putin cheers the president and his own defense secretary is upset about it? Look, the idea that Putin is happy about this is ridiculous. He's not. This puts a greater emphasis and makes them have to actually step up and do something than do more in the region. It puts them at a greater risk. So I think that's just silly. Major. The has said on Twitter that this could last for a long time. What does he mean by that? How long? And he said Mitch McConnell needs to fight harder. Does the president have a problem with Mitch McConnell's willingness to fight on this issue? No, he just wants him to be aggressive on this front. Um, I think he would love to see them use the 51 filibuster. Uh, I know that's something he's pushed Senator McConnell on in the past. I think he'd like to see that happen if necessary today. And the president wants border security, and he's not going to back down on this fight. Because the, the House has passed it, the president supports it, we have legislation on the floor that everybody should be behind because it fulfills all of the things that they actually have said and they've campaigned for. Let's not forget all of these individuals, the Senate Democrats, have campaigned on border security. They've said they want technology and fencing and uh, steel slats, which are happy to put up. So the idea that they are now opposed to something simply because it's something the president wants is sad. And that should be the big story coming out of today if they don't support it. The president said the Oval Office. Uh, to replace General Mattis.